In 1984, NATO member countries agreed to use a single type of fuel on the battlefield for all military vehicles, namely Jet Propellant 8, JP-8. The idea was to make logistics easier. JP-8 was chosen as the universal standard to power various military vehicles, from field heaters and stoves to tanks, jet aircraft, and ground turbines. When the United States Marine Corps needed military motorcycles, they ran into a snag because there were no motorcycles that could use JP-8 fuel. To fix this, the U.S. Army funded the development of a diesel motorcycle that could use JP-8. This kickstarted the creation of the best diesel motorcycle for the Marine Corps, meeting their logistical and operational needs. This diesel motorcycle was designed for high fuel efficiency and could operate using standard military fuel. The result was a motorcycle that met military standards and offered reliable performance in various terrain conditions. Back in 2005, the U.S. Navy stopped using gasoline for most of their technical systems, except for field generators and motorcycles. Out of 40 companies competing for the contract, Hayes Diversified Technologies, HDT, came out on top. HDT's success is no surprise, given their impressive track record. They've supplied 2,500 motorcycles for the U.S. military and their allies, and they've got extensive experience in developing off-road and racing motorcycles through partnerships with companies like Penton and Honda. They started with the Kawasaki KR650 as their base for the engine development process. Although it was based on the original KR model, this engine underwent a lot of changes with lots of new components. For instance, the aluminum crankshaft housing was revamped to boost strength and durability, while connecting rods and pistons were handpicked to withstand heavier loads for military use. One of the most significant changes was a completely redesigned cylinder head, optimized engine performance in harsh battlefield conditions. The development of this engine also involved Cranfield University in the UK, who helped out with some technical know-how. The result is a reliable engine that's fuel efficient, not just powerful. This is a smart move, given the importance of reliability and efficiency in various military operational situations. The engine saw some changes, with the cylinder bore going from 100 to 90 mm and the piston stroke increasing from 83 to 96 mm. This change increased the volume by 610 cc and achieved a compression ratio of 21. The engine was originally rated at 24 horsepower at 5,400 revolutions per minute, but with the proposed version, the power increased to 32 horsepower at 5,700 revolutions per minute. This diesel engine runs on special aviation fuel and puts out a peak torque of 38 LBT or 52 nanometers. These changes made the engine more powerful and efficient, so it's better suited to road use. The HDT M1030 isn't a high-powered motorcycle, but it's got solid performance. It goes from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 9.8 seconds and can hit speeds up to 90 miles per hour. At a consistent speed of around 55 miles per hour, it gets the best fuel mileage at about 96 miles per gallon. This motorcycle has faced fuel efficiency challenges in the past, such as the Veda fuel from 2010 to 2014. Fred, the owner, racked up a few wins and got some impressive mileage out of the bike, hitting 162 miles per gallon with a streamlined motorcycle and the same engine. The HDT M1030 isn't the fastest, but it gets great gas mileage. The slightly upgraded version even hit 121 miles per hour on the Bonneville Salt Flats, showing it can perform well under the right conditions. The latest engine, the M1030 M2, is 671.1 cc bigger than the previous version while still offering more power. One of the best things about it is that it can use all kinds of fuels, including JP-8, regular diesel, biodiesel, aviation gasoline, and military options like JP-5, JP-4, and Off-Tour. The military version of this motorcycle has a three-gallon plastic fuel tank that can go up to 400 miles and can get through water up to two feet deep without any problems. This design is built to last, with extra reinforcement on the K-out frame and improved binding cables to make it more durable. The exterior surface is given a uniform and glossy finish, and even the front fork is equipped with rubber guards to add stability and protection. Plus, the M1030 comes with an infrared camera at the front, so you can keep an eye on things even in low light. 
Plus, this motorcycle can be outfitted with military lights for emergency situations. Despite the high price tag of around $188,500, Fred Hayes thinks this innovation is a game changer for military ground vehicles. He sees the potential and advantages offered by the M1030 M2. The study on the Hayes diesel motorcycle has shown that owners have different views on it. Some people like the bike because it gets great mileage and has a unique look, but many others feel that the engine is too weak and it's hard to get replacement parts, so it's not very practical for everyday use. These limitations make it tough for users who want more performance or who rely on motorcycles for everyday use. However, the fact that there are only a few Hayes diesel motorcycles around means that they could be worth investing in for collectors or enthusiasts of rare vehicles in the long term. That wraps up our chat in this video. Please feel free to share any feedback or ideas you have in the comments section. Thanks for watching.